Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Raynell Rory. Welcome back to my channel, Fits and Trips. We've got a special episode for y'all today because I'm going to be doing some experimentation on the water. When I say experimenting, man, I'm going to be doing some things with some lures I've never done before. I'm going to be trying some lures I never tried before, and I'm going to try a lure I ain't used in probably like 20 years, all right? Now, when it comes to lures, when it comes to freshwater fishing anyway, my top two lures are the rattle trap and the rooster tail. They kind of go between number one and number two. Now, when it comes to the rattle trap, I like to use the mini. The issue that I've been having is, is that with the mini, you know, that comes with treble hooks, these bass and even crappy have been choking it right it's just taking a whole lure into the mouth you know it's a whole process to try to get the troubles out so what i done was we replaced the troubles with some circle hooks some little bitty circle these are the smallest circle hooks i can find these are still bigger than a treble but we're going to see if the router trap can still produce with the circle hooks i practice catch and release when i fresh water fish so hopefully this will be more fish friendly and we can see if that works i got a whole pack of rooster tails as well um, i'll show that to you later um, i got that for some striped bass that i plan on trying to hunt in lake livingston next month and i got a top water you know i always wanted to catch a bass on top water haven't done that since the 90s so we're going to try that we're going to see if we can catch a router trap with the Catch fish with the modified rattle trap. We're gonna try some new rooster tails we've never tried before. And um, if all goes well, we'll see if we can get one on top water. Personally, I think I can do it. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Let go. Let's try back this way behind me. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, where's the net? There we go. Keep pressure on it, baby. Keep pressure on it. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one, baby. Oh my God. What? Calm down, Rennell. Act like a professional. Act like you meant to do this, baby. Oh my God. Bruh. Holy smokes, y'all. <laughs> Give me a second to remain calm because that bad boy just hit it right on shore. Y'all got to see this. Y'all got to see this. Get that big boy. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this hog. Look at this hog. What? The circle hooks work. The circle hooks definitely work. I told you. I told you. So now we got that nice circle hook and he's free. Just like that, boy. Just like that, boy. This is probably three three or four pounds oh man i forgot my scale because i'm packing light circle hook produced with the rattle trap i told y'all we can do it man fish guys blessed us let's get this big boy back in the water okay homie you ready all right i'm just gonna go i can't reach it okay let's catch your breath there you go Come on. Got him, got him. Y'all, that bike came like two feet from shore. Bottle rocks, I told you, man, I told you. All right, so we got, we got that one on the board. I'm gonna keep working the rattle trap. We're experiment with the other lures on the way back. But experiment is already a success, man. That took 25 minutes. <laughs> Let's freaking go. These birds, bro. They crows. They're annoying what they are. Oh, there we go. Ah, that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a nice pass, y'all. I told you it was over there. I told you it was over there. I told you it was over there. I told you it was over there, y'all. Told you, man. We're not just out here casting, but we're fishing. We're calling this. We're calling structure. We're calling it, bro. There we go. All right, y'all. 
We got our next about two pound bass. Bit the circle hook. I bit the one on the top. This is a nice one. Nice one, y'all. A lot easier with the circle hook to get them out. So my experiment shows to be working so far. Let's get her put back in the water. Thanks for playing, buddy. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, let's keep working the shoreline and um, see what we can do. Still trying to get a crappy on it though. All right, y'all see this? Deep boulders, curves. This is a perfect spot. Just don't fall in right now. Here we go. It's gonna be a big one over here, y'all. Watch. It's gonna be a nice one over here. Oop, there we go. Oop. Is he still on? Oh, he's still on. I told you. I told you every time. It's the rocks. It's the rocks. Get on the boat. I told y'all. I told y'all, man. Structure, man. Look for structure and look for rocks. That's all you gotta do. Structure and rocks. Rocks and structure. They go together. Boom. And that's the beauty of circle hooks, man. I'm definitely gonna do this with all my lures. Um, all right, it's my nice little one pounder. <laughs> one pounder. So yeah, man, it is proven. Changing with circle hooks is way more friendlier with these fish. Get them out easier. They're safe, not harm. He choked it, but got it out in two seconds. So yeah, buddy. Little fight another day. So yeah, man. Any, I want to say anything I have with treble hooks. I want to switch it with circle hooks, but I don't think the rooster tail will work. It's just the balance of it. It has to be in line. But my rattle traps, crankbaits, we're gonna try that. Like I said, these things are just the circle hooks too big. We want to try something different. I didn't forget it. So check it out, y'all. I got these at Academy. These are the H20X. Um, I don't know, I think these are like maybe $9.99 for one, two, three, four, five, six of them. They come with three one eight ounce spencers, spencer spinners, and three one fourth ounce spencers. Why do I keep saying spencer spinners? I'm trying to dehydrate it. I don't got no water with me. So should I try the one fourth or the one eight ounce? Let's go with the white one. We're gonna go with the smaller, one eight ounce white ones and attempt to catch a crappy. <laughs> Will it work? I don't know. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh man. Get off the rocks, get off the rocks. No, I'm definitely on the rocks. Solid on the rocks. What? That's a fish. That's not a rock. That's a fish. Oh my god, I thought I was snagged. I thought I was snagged. What? What? Y'all, I thought I was snagged on the damn rocks. Did not expect that. <sighs> Did not expect that. I thought I was snagged. <laughs> we gotta get the... <sighs> I thought I was snagged on the rocks. There we go. All right, got the treble out. Got another one. Got a lot of rocks. Here we go. Structure, it's all about structure. Got these nice rocks where these bass probably like to spawn and bed. Just like that. Get on the boat, get on the boat. Get on a boat. Right there. It's all about rocks. Nope, nope. He's loose. You got him. Got him. Another one. Rocks, baby. They're just kind of swimming back and forth, bending on the rocks. That's where you'll find them at. Rooster Tail never fell, I told you. Let go. Peace out, homie. Let's 
working my way back towards the rocks. And we turn. Oh, got him. Got him. Ooh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, he's mad. He is mad. Come here. Wait, wait. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Come here. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Nice one. Lonker. Got us a lonker, baby. No, no. Come here. There we go. Another one. We just cast it out. Made my way back to the direction of the rocks. That's a little one and a half pounder. Bro, this is fun. This is fun, man. I love fishing. You. You a nice one, homie. Tell your boys I'm looking for him, though. He out. All right, let's go. Nice cast. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a nice one. Ooh, another nice one. Another nice one. Another nice one. Okay, here we go. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. There you go, baby. That's how you net. That's how you net. That's how you net. Uh, nope. Here we go. Another one pound, one and a half pound bass. Bro, they are stacked right here in this area. Rooster tail never fails. Structure, rocks, shoreline. That's all you gotta do is put those combinations together and you'll catch some fish. Amazingly, right? <laughs> you'll definitely catch some fish. Oh man, this is too much fun. He out. There you have it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this episode, man. It was action packed. Great day of fishing, man. Once again, when it comes to freshwater fishing, the rattle trap and the rooster tail cannot be beat. Those are the top lures, hands down. If you're just getting into bass fishing, you see a rooster tail and a rattle trap. You will do fine. Fish the shoreline, steady retrieve, and you will catch fish. That's simple, y'all, man. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, y'all, man. Um, I'm doing some big things next month in the month of March. Um, we're gonna try to chase some big, big striped bass up in Livingston, Livingston Lake by some dam. Y'all know when it comes to bridges and dams, I almost always have some near-death experiences, so we can make sure you can tune in for that. Make sure you subscribe. You want to make sure you subscribe to me seeing um, me seeing my life flash before my eyes every time I get in my kayak for some damn reason. So once again, man, my name is Ray Nair Ward, aka Fishing Trips. It's been real, y'all. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget the thumbs up. I'm out. Yeah.